Hey guys and welcome back to another video from our Take Inter tutorial series. So I'm sure you guys know how to create all kinds of widgets, right? You know how to create the button, the label, the combo box, the entry widget, all of those kinds of widgets. But how do you actually delete one from your window? How do you remove it, right? Because that is a pretty valid point. Or even how do you delete the Take Inter window itself? This is a question you might want to ask when you have multiple Take Inter windows at once, right? So let's get right into it. We'll create a label which we'll use as our test subject, right? Uh, we'll basically be deleting this label. Let's give it some text like I will be deleted, right? Let's put this near the top of our screen. Now let's create a button, right? Basically, we'll use this button as the trigger for our delete, all right? We're gonna click on this button and the label will delete itself. You can use some other way of doing it, but the main technique remains the same, using the destroy function. We'll get to that in a minute. Delete, text, command, we'll just call this label delete, label, label del, all right? And self.button.place next to the 50 and a little below our button. I mean, our label, below our label. All right, let's create that function. All right, here's where it really begins. All right, we're gonna create the function that's gonna delete our label. We're gonna call the label here, self.label, and then we're gonna use the destroy function on it. This is gonna permanently delete our label from the window. All right, let's try this. Uh, now we click on the button and the label should delete itself. Do that, and there we go. The label has been deleted. Now, uh, just be a little careful when using this because when you delete it, it's like gone, all right? So uh, you can't actually, there's no way to bring it back. You can destroy widgets, but you can't recreate the same thing. I mean, you can just make a new one, obviously, but you can't bring back a deleted one, all right? Uh, interestingly, you can actually use the destroy function on pretty much anything. This extends to even the take enter window itself. Now, uh, let me show you how to do that. You see a root over here? Root is the take enter instance that we created. We then passed it into our class, right? Our window class. It came over here in master. We saved it then. Okay, this is a slight typo over here, actually. I mean, it's correct still, but it's better to do it this way. We passed in master over here, and then we assigned master to self.master. So where am I going with this? Well, you can simply type self.master.destroy here. Now, this is going to destroy the actual take into our window. Again, this is something which you, sh you should be even more careful with because you're basically destroying the entire window. And when you destroy the take into instance, you delete everything within it. All right. So that's something to be careful with. We click delete and there we go. The program shut down because the take into instance has been deleted. All right. So that's about it for this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.